So some people will try to tell you that a 600cc is a girl's bike. Well, they're absolutely right. What's good y'all, Master Yoshi here. So, yeah, that's right. 600 cc's are women bikes. But they're also men's bikes. They're bikes for who in? For, uh, for teenagers. they bikes for little girls, if they can ride them. This motorcycle right here is for anybody who has the skill to ride it. <clears throat> now, I don't know where this whole 600 cc are for girls came from, but I assume it came from, you know, people just, just poking fun. And there ain't nothing wrong with that. You know, it's the same as, you know, Ford drivers can't, can't, uh, I mean, Mustang drivers can't drive, you know. It's the same thing, you know, Chevy making fun of Dodge. I get that. You know, some dudes that got thousands, they'll talk trash if you got you a 600. I get that. But some people really believe that these things are here for women. And they'll steer clear of them out of the fear that they'll be ridiculed by their peers or their friends. Now let me ask y'all, what's more masculine? Getting a bike you actually want or getting a thousand cc just to avoid people making fun of you? Y'all already know the answer. Be independent, do what you want to do. But yeah, man, motorcycles are for any and everybody. You know, over here on this side of town, on this side of the, of the country, women ride boosters, but they're not referred to as a woman's bike. You know, over here on the East Coast, you know, you be seeing them big booty women on boosters. <laughs> but they ain't called girl bikes. So I wonder where the whole thing came from and why that's such a big stigma. And, you know, it sucks because some people really will steer clear because they're scared of getting made fun of. There ain't no such thing as a, as a bike specifically for women. There ain't no such thing as a bike specifically for men. And ladies, this affects y'all too. I mean, people say 600s are girls bikes, so I mean, y'all might feel like you need to get a 600. You don't have to limit yourself to that. You can get whatever bike you want to get. You know, some people will say that, or they'll give you grief for people getting 1,000 cc's and not pushing them to their limits. They'll be like, oh, you got 1,000 and people can't even ride them to this full potential. So, it's your bike, it's your money. You do what you want to do with that bike. Yeah, we definitely made a wrong turn here. <laughs> but yeah, you get with any bike you want to get, man. You don't have to push it to its limits. It's hard to push your bike to the limits on the street anyways because there's too many variables out here. Traffic, you know, bad roads, all that. Plus, if you ride a motorcycle, you got to for the thrill of riding. You don't have to push it to its limits. I ain't never been downtown around here. It's pretty cool. I'm trying to focus on where we're going. <laughs> but yeah, man, 600 cc's are not specifically women bikes. They're not specifically man bikes. They're for people who want to ride. But yeah, man, this is a quick video. You know, check your egos, fellas. Ladies, you can get whatever bike you want, but 600 ain't specifically for women. I've been enjoying the hell out of this thing. It's fast as hell. Now, compared to other bikes, it's slow as hell. <laughs> but <laughs> in reality, it's fast. I mean, anything you could do 150 miles on with ease, in my opinion. I mean, 150 miles per hour on with ease, in my opinion, that's a fast, that's a fast vehicle. But uh, y'all stay safe and y'all stay blessed. Don't be too stressed. Master Yoshi out. Peace.